Horror struck the heart of Beirut at 9.30 this morning as people drove to work or went for coffee by the sea. The beautifully rebuilt center of town, the scene of devastation for the first time in years. We were inside and felt glass breaking and coming in. Then we heard the sound. An explosion happened. We waited till it was over and then we went out and saw this. I think all this terrorism is damaging the country and the people. What more can we say? God help us. God help this country. The target of the car bomb, this man, Mohammed Shatah, once an ambassador to the U.S. and a finance minister, he was soft-spoken and a voice of moderation in a polarized country. Crucially, he was a key advisor to Saad Hariri, the leader of the political bloc opposed to Syria's government and its ally here in Lebanon, Hezbollah, a Shia militant group. Saad Hariri is already indirectly accused Hezbollah of being behind the killing. Lebanon is living through multiple crises, all compounded by the war next door in Syria. There's been no cabinet here in Beirut for nine months already. Hezbollah, a Shia group from Lebanon, is fighting alongside President Bashar al-Assad's forces in Syria. And in Mr. Shatah's hometown, Sunni militants regularly cross into Syria to support the rebels there. Hezbollah has also paid the price of its role in Syria with suicide bombings targeting areas where it operates in southern Beirut.